We all know that millions of people have lived before us, and sometimes we stumble on things that remind us of a different life. Over the years, people have found some of the most bizarre skulls and skeletons ever. Do aliens truly exist? Well, today's video will take you through some of the weirdest skulls ever that'll make you question humanity. But before we dive into this list, make sure to leave a like on this video. Also, if you'd like to join this month's Star 5 giveaway of a brand new PlayStation 5, then all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! At number 10, the Screaming Mummies. In 1881, a screaming mummy was discovered in Egypt, and researchers believe that they discovered an Egyptian mummy that could have been tortured to death during her lifetime after scientific research discovered the dead mummy was a female. However, with recent studies carried out, earlier researchers may have been wrong about the screaming mummy. Archaeologists at the University of Cairo provided proof that she may have actually belonged to the ruling class in ancient Egypt, which means that she lived about 3,000 years ago. Also, her cause of death may have been a sudden heart attack, although this doesn't fully explain the mysterious shape of her face at death. But it seems that they have discovered what happened. According to scientists, the screaming face may have been the result of her head tilting to the side, which caused her jaw to drop, and since she belongs to the elite class, the people in charge of embalming may have rushed the process to prevent her body from getting rotten. Another theory is that this woman must have been mummified while she was still alive. We don't know for sure what happened, but all these scenarios are intertwined with a lot of speculation. At number 9, the Star Child. The Star Child skull remains a mystery begging for answers. The Star Child was originally found in a cave in the Mexican state of Chihuahua by a teenage girl who went exploring in the cave. In the process, she discovered two skulls. What remains truly remarkable about this find is that one takes the shape of an adult woman, while the other one was once the fleshy head of a child. However, the teenager did not turn the skull over to the authorities, but instead kept it as a personal possession. Eventually, they ended up in the hands of two American researchers, Lloyd Pye and Mark Bean. With the help of other scientists in the field of neuroscience and cranial physiology, extensive research was carried out on the skulls. The shocking report showed that one of the skulls was a human, while the other contained a combination of human DNA and remnants of an out-of-space creature. Many people believe that the child must have been a hybrid creature between a woman and an alien. At number 8, a dinosaur skeleton from a deathmatch. Have you ever imagined how a fight between two dinosaurs would look? It would probably be scarier to watch a dinosaur fight than one between two massive elephants. In 1971, a group of paleontologists from Poland and Mongolia came a big discovery of dinosaur skeletons in the Gobi Desert, with one of the dinosaurs being a velociraptor and the other a protoceratops. After studying the bones of both dinosaurs, the paleontologists concluded that the animals died due to their epic battle of supremacy. They also suggested that there is a chance that the two dinosaurs were unaware of the coming windstorm or sand dune until they couldn't escape it and were pinned down buried until their discovery at the time. However, the perfect condition of the bones of the dinosaur in the Gobi Desert has given more information about the lives that existed before humans on Earth. At number 7, Cavemen Cannibals In today's world, the act of cannibalism is a crime and no society would support the act, but it appears our ancestors, the Neanderthals, actually never saw a big deal in eating their fellow humans as food. In Belgium, a scientist working on Neanderthals' remains discovered that Neanderthals did not only feed on animals, but also themselves. The skeletons found by the scientists in Belgium showed that humans had lived in Belgium and the whole of Europe during the time of Neanderthals and feasted on fellow humans. The particular bone that was uncovered from caves in Belgium during the course of the research showed that the flesh was carefully removed from the bones with the intention of eating the flesh for meat just in the same way that Neanderthals eat animals. At number 6, the Atacama Alien Skeleton if the eight wonders of the modern world were to be upgraded, adding the Atacama alien skeleton to the list wouldn't be a bad idea. The skeleton, which has a very long skull, was discovered in 2003. At the time when the skeleton was discovered in the Atacama Desert in La Nori, Chile, most people believed it was the remains of an alien or some older generations of humans. But with just 15 centimeters in height, there was a need to carry out further research to show whether the skeleton was human or just some mystical being. To put the record straight, scientists from the University of California and Stanford 
carried out research on the skeleton, which revealed that the Atacama skeleton is actually human. The skeleton is a girl who suffered a birth defect due to genetic mutations. With that report, the case was closed, bringing an end to the argument on whether the skeleton was human or an alien. And thanks to DNA and technological advancement, we all now know that she belongs to the human family and not some creature from space, as earlier suggested. At number 5. The Rupkun Skeletons In the World War II era of 1942, the British government got an intelligence report that hundreds of Japanese soldiers' bones were found in the Lake Rupkund Himalayas region. On getting there, it was discovered that the bones were not fresh, a huge indication that they were not the results of a recent occurrence. After due investigations and scientific research, it was discovered that the death occurred around the 9th and 10th centuries BC. However, no one knows exactly who they are and where they were coming from. But the bones did have one thing in common, which is that they all died in a similar way. One legend suggests that these skeletons were people who were mysteriously killed by Hindu goddess Meta, who killed a particular king and his entourage for defiling the mountain that was a shrine. Is this true? We really can't tell. But these bones were only discovered after being buried at the bottom of the lake for thousands of years. At number 4. The Irish Bog Bodies Mummification is not a culture exclusive to the ancient Egyptians. Apparently, it's also unique to the Irish people in Europe, and a perfect example are the Irish Bog Bodies that were discovered beneath the peat bogs. No one understands the reasons for burying the people in the bog, but one cannot deny the uniqueness of these bodies when they were extracted from the peat. The bodies were still well preserved due to the coldness of the peat, which prevented the bodies from decaying. One famous body was that of an old Krogan man found below the Krogan Hill. Researchers believe he must have been buried around 362 to 175 BC and was probably a giant with his height as high as 7 feet. According to research, there is a chance that those buried in the bog were brutally tortured before they died, and that was why they were buried in such a manner instead of having a proper burial. In the case of the old Krogan, researchers found out that his body was decimated, his nipples cut off, and his hand tied with rope before his body was cut in half. Then he was thrown into the bog to mummify. At number 3. Tumai Skull the Tumai skull was originally found in northern Chad in the Sub-Sahara region of Africa. In English, Tumai simply means the hope of life. When this rare skull was discovered, it underwent scientific research to ascertain the species the skull belonged to. It was later discovered that it belonged to a human that had left the Earth about 7 million years ago. The outcome of the research really serves as a pointer that challenged our belief on what our ancestors probably looked like. The Tumai Skull is a testament that humans have always existed on the planet longer than we've ever imagined. At number 2. Strange Humanoid Skull This strange skull was discovered in Africa in 2010. According to scientific research about the origin of the skull, it was discovered that the skull was more than 12 million years old. The skull is way older than the humanoid skull discovered in Ethiopia, which is 3.2 million years old. However, since the skull has been discovered, there have been no official statement on what species, origin, or planet the creature having this type of skull might belong to. That means its existence is still shrouded in a lot of mystery. And at number 1. The Paracas Skulls At first glance, you would think these skulls are from aliens with their elongated look and the strange shape of the eye sockets. However, the Paracas skulls found in the late 1920s in the Paracas region of Peru by Julio Tello belong to humans. The skulls have a unique head shape because the people practiced head binding, which is when the normal growth of the head is altered at an early stage of life. This is closely tied to the culture of these people and the south coast of Peru. And with that, we end today's video. Which is the most bizarre skull ever? Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe and give us a like, and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you never miss another video from Star 5. Thanks for watching.